Good afternoon, my friends and families. Okay. <laughs> I started Mission Singapore in 2008, MSG, Mono Sodium As bad for you. They say it causes cancer. I don't believe that. It's fine. <laughs> um, in 2008, there was a group called uh, Improv Everywhere, they based in New York. They did this thing called The Freeze, and it went viral on YouTube. And I watched it, and I got, I got hooked. I was inspired by what they did, flash mobs. So I watched more videos on, on, on YouTube of flash mobs and, and, and street arts in general. And I got inspired. After watching every video by Improv Everywhere, I wanted to start my own group. So that's how MSG got about. So Mission Singapore. Um, our first flash mob had uh, 14 participants and three days down the road, our Facebook group currently has 1,732. I welcome my 32nd 30, 30 second, 30 second member last night. Uh, so our mission is to organize fun activities just for fun. So what this means is that uh, no, no cause or charity, no charity work, no uh, commercial stuff. Everything is just for fun. For it. Just for fun's sake. I know it's strange, but that's what we do. Uh, uh, we don't make any money out of this, obviously, and everything is funded through our own pockets. Uh, we, we have been doing this for three years, and so far, so good. So in the beginning, uh, there's some questions that you know you, uh, you have to ask yourself. So I think flash mob in Singapore. First thing you ask yourself is, is it legal, right? It's a Singaporean thing. <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing I ask myself is, would Singaporeans appreciate us? So um, I went about, you know, asking my friends, you know, uh, oh, dude, I'm going to start a flash mob group in Singapore. What do you think? You <laughs> see uh, <laughs> So the first thing they ask me, you're crazy, it's a waste of time. No, you're gonna get caught, the police are gonna catch you, you're gonna get <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna get in trouble. Um, and the main thing that affected me the most was you know it's a waste of time. But it's I it's, it's kinda understandable because what it's hard to convince them they're not wasting your time when what you do looks like this. So is this <laughs> is this illegal? Uh, is this possible in Singapore? So this is the things I asked myself. Um, on the legal side, I, I read up about the rules and, uh, and regulations behind uh, you know, using public space and all that. And I theorized that in theory, as long as no one complains that you are a public nuisance, you are fine. So what uh, we, we, we go by the rule of thumb not to piss anyone off or not to do anything controversial or religious or political. So, so far in these three years, no one has ever reported us as a public nuisance. So in 2008, we had our first mission. This is not the first mission, this is the third mission. Um, this happened in, uh, in an MRT, as you can tell. Uh, can anyone tell what happens after this? It's a party! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> um, there were 14 of us. Uh, we only had music and helium balloons. And the music was coming out from a, from a laptop. And the balloons, I believe we only had six. <laughs> but <laughs> but we, we got the, the thing going uh, for, for more than 50 minutes from Marina Bay all the way to Woodlands, uh, to Masling, in fact. And the only reason why we stopped was uh, three MRT staff members <laughs> staff sort of bought a train at Woodlands and told us, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't tell us to stop. They told us to uh, lower down our volume. <laughs> uh, so we've been a nice people, so we, we gave them some of those paper hearts. And they said, okay, why not we just stop? We're very tired anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was one of our first few uh, missions. Uh, funny story though, well, the moment 
the, the, the staff approached me, right? Uh, I had a nosebleed. <laughs> <laughs> so what do what do we do really? MSG. Um, first and foremost, I have to say that I have to say that uh, we were greatly inspired by improv everywhere. Uh, thank you, Charlie Todd. Um, so they they call the activities um, missions, and they are members agents, and so do we. But and this is how I would uh, describe what uh, we do as a group. First, we take an everyday instance, like walking down uh, the street, going to work, taking the train, and then we take that and we inject something crazy, mad, or in insane, or funny into that moment. So take, for example, this busy street. And I'm sure you guys know what this is, right? Orchard Road. So we take that. Uh, this is something we did uh, on Boxing Day of 2009. Um, so we gathered presents donated by our agents. And we give them out to strangers. So we pick out pick out victims. <laughs> it's, it's interesting to see uh, the, the first reaction. The people always they assume that something fishy is going on. <laughs> so I'm very hesitant. So each each gets one present. So after we made convince them there's no no problem. And we invite them for a picture. This guy is trying to convince himself. <laughs> And ho ho ho! Signals for all the elves to appear in that. <laughs> so this is the second the photo we all disappear. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry for the video. Um, this lady, she actually, she, like, she thought that the present wasn't real, but you know, it's, we, we, we told her that we can bring it home. <laughs> so that is, um, have a gift for a stranger. Uh, fun fact, all the hats, right, uh, were handmade, um, bought from Daiso, and I, I sewed it up myself. Um, the next I'm, I'm going to show you, before I go to the next video, um, all of our missions are recorded on, 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 on video, and we edit them into uh, five, we try to keep it, keep it to five minutes, and we load it up to YouTube, where we could share uh, the videos and the ideas so that hopefully somewhere out there people would see it and you know get inspired to start their own flash mob group. So this is something we did this year. It's a uh, fine dining uh, in the middle of the street. So this is actually my uh, study table. This happened at Bully MRT, uh, between Bully MRT and uh, Jurong East uh, Shopping Center. So, we enlisted the help of these two actors and actors. So, take note of the reaction on uh, the expression of people's faces as they, as they walk past.
We have been at uh, Music Lights on Wednesday. Fun fact, everything, all the food and the, the, the ice cream was prepared uh, on the spot. Uh, so we had a, a small little camp right in front of 7-Eleven where we sort of heated up. We used the oven inside 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> and just basically transferred everything on, on, on China and stuff. Uh, this is the last video. It's something we did this year. So uh, we, we get our ideas. Uh, from, from the internet. As you saw, the first picture was uh, planking, right? I'm sure you guys saw that. So we tried to, to get uh, ideas that are popular. And this, was in this uh, mission was inspired by some, uh, a video by some, some, some group in Europe where they had a bottle uh, next to a recycle bin. And it, it, if someone picks it up and put it in the bin, they get a surprise. So we, we took that and we made our own ambition. Again, this is Orchard Road. Notice that there's a lot of people wearing green. Space is a place where everyone is together, and everyone sees each other. But at the same time, we all we all are strangers. Everyone is alone somehow. But with a little bit of spontaneity and uh, and some courage and imagination, 
being among strangers can just be a little bit more fun. Thank you.